Hundreds of supporters of Shiite cleric Muqtada al Sadr took to the streets of Baghdad Sunday night, celebrating the announcement of partial results of Iraq's parliamentary elections. Iraq's Electoral Commission announced that El Sadr's coalition is the current frontrunner in national elections, with official results in from just over half of the country's provinces. Al Sadr himself did not run in the election, but he holds sway over a coalition ticket that won by a large margin in the capital Baghdad. An alliance of candidates with close ties to Iraq's powerful Shiite paramilitary groups came in a close second. A victory by al Sadr's coalition would be a significant blow to the re-election campaign of Prime Minister Haider el Abadi. If the results hold, al Sadr, a strident critic of the United States, could have a major say in who will become Iraq's next leader. Followers of Shiite cleric Muqtada al Sadr celebrate in Sadr City, Baghdad, Iraq, early Monday, May 14, 2018. The Electoral Commission said that, results of the election to fill the country's 329-seat parliament are expected within two days. Officials said that, just 44% of eligible voters cast ballots on Saturday, the lowest voter turnout since Saddam Hussein was ousted in 2003. Polling station officials blamed low turnout on increased security measures, voter apathy and irregularities linked to the new electronic voting systems. As voters cast their ballots Saturday, airports and roads were shut down for security reasons. Last month, elements of his still operating in Iraq, despite battlefield losses, threatened to attack anyone, participating in the elections. While the overwhelming number of polling places around the country remained safe, early in the day an attack was reported south of the oil city, Kirkuk, a bomb was discovered at a polling place in Baghdad, and other reports of attempted attacks surfaced. Heather Murdoch contributed to this report.